last question. You know, we are in Decatur. Uh, many consider this part of Decatur to be very liberal. You've talked with a lot of people today, um, and a lot of them have, have been very strong, hardcore Democrats. Um, two questions for that. One is, what type of uh, perception have you gotten? And secondly, have any of them talked anything about any concerns with the wall and immigration and border security? Right now, uh, to this this is Decatur, and it is considered very blue. And most of the people that I have spoke with today have all been Democrats. And I will tell you, more than half of them have at least told me, Victor, we're going to give you a trance, or I'm going to look more, and I want you to come speak to my family, or I want you to come speak to my neighborhood. They're giving an open ear. And what I'm hearing mostly, probably the number one issue, is the economy which surprised me. I thought I was going to hear the number one issue might be uh, the presidential race or the number one issue would be education uh, or, or even immigration, uh, or the refugee issue. But the number one thing that people kept mentioning was the economy. And then the next thing I heard about was the crime rate or the youth arrest rate, which ties in with education a little bit. So we talked about that. And then we talked about we went back to the economy since that's what everybody was talking about. So we talked about the unemployment rate in District 4 and we talked about some of the other issues and businesses closing up and down Memorial Drive and in different areas of District 4. And it was very, very positive. I, I am just humbled by the reaction that, and the ear that people are giving me. And I, I just encourage people to, to keep an open ear. There is no reason why we can't make a change and and try something different. It doesn't matter who you are or what you look like. I just think we're Americans. And when we're Americans first, we get things done. All right, and if anybody has any questions, how can they get in touch with you? Uh, please, uh, my website, victorforcongress.com, or even better would be the Facebook page, Victor for Congress. It's on Facebook. You can find it. If you go to the website, you can click on the Facebook symbol. Uh, it's just that's much quicker access, so we're, we're updating things much quicker there. But you can always contact me at victorforcongress.com, and my email's there and everything, and I answer it. And a, uh, another little note with that is that he answers his own email. He doesn't have a huge staff that's filtering everything. He will talk with you directly. I do, and I will. All right, thank you, Victor. You're welcome. Thank you.